Hello and welcome back to the Primitive Living Channel. Now before I get into what today's video is going to be about, I am working on a project over here. You might be able to see it already, but um, if you guys think you know what it is, uh, leave your guess down in the comment section because I would have done a video on it, but I did not think it would be very relevant to the winter months, so I decided not to. But um, today's video is going to be a story video about the time that I ran away into the forest at night time. So it was probably back in um, mid to late September and we had been at my grandparents house. My cousins were up there too, it was the last day we were staying there, we were going to go home that night. So, um, earlier in the day it was pretty nice. I went out in the forest and did some work. But then, um, when it got near the afternoon and we were wrapping things up, my cousins started talking about how they were going to go on, um, a four-wheeler ride into the forest later that night. So, I asked my dad if we could stay another night. He said no, of course. So, um, when we were saying our goodbyes and they were on the ATVs and we were about to get ready to go home, um, my dad started doing something but he wasn't looking at me so I um, made the split second decision. So while my cousins were going on the four wheelers down the field, I started running after them. So um, we got up to the train tracks, I tried to stay my tried my best to stay behind them and then eventually we were down at the creek you've probably seen it in some of my earlier videos but it was um I don't know how late it was but we went um over the creek it took me a while to get across the creek because I had to go up on the side of the tracks and go around to the other side so then we went back through um part of the forest and then came out to where there's a big open field and there's like a really long fence going along it so we started continuing down there and um, at that point I was starting to run out of breath and then one of my cousins I think saw me I quickly ducked behind some um, shrubs that were over there and waited till they started going again when they started going again I tried my best to keep up with them but then Eventually, I started to slow down. So then we got to a place that, I don't know how to describe it, it was like a bunch of arches with trees and crap. But anyway, we started running down there and I just could not keep up. I was, I don't even know how far behind him then. I could barely see the taillights of the four wheelers. So then I dropped to the ground, tried to catch my breath, but I just couldn't and they were all already all the way down there. So. Um, I was just hoping that somehow I would be able to catch up or get back or something. So then eventually I saw their taillights flash and they had stopped. They were um, trying to decide where they would go next because there was um, a fork in the four wheeler pass. So um, I saw that happen, I got up and I ran with uh, all the energy I had left in my body. Finally caught up to them and said, hey I'm here. So. Um, they said, you know, your dad's going to get real mad at you when you get back. I said, yeah, I know, but I thought maybe you guys would get lost or something. So, um, one of my cousins let me have their phone. I called back home to my grandparents. They told me I should better get back. So, uh, I got on the back of one of their four-wheelers. We headed back to the creek where my, uh, grandpa picked me up and took me the rest of the way back home. So, uh. Yeah, when we got home, I, uh, I did get in trouble for a little bit, and then um, it was over. I probably shouldn't have made the decision to go out in that forest, but I was just scared that they would get lost out there or something and need help. Or I don't, I don't know what I was thinking really, but uh, yeah, that's my story of the time that I went into the forest. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.